2002, Chabasco was coated with multiple coats of epoxy in an effort to slow down the deterioration that had been going on since she was built. Before the advent of epoxy resins and epoxy barrier coats, seawater through pressure and osmosis could pass through the coatings, completely saturating the wood. Seawater is one of the most caustic substances on the planet. It not only contains salt, but it also contains bacteria, enzymes, and microbes. Given enough time, the sea can erode, corrode, or dissolve just about anything. What it does to wood is it breaks down the wood resins. The surveyors now call this phenomenon delignification. As the lignum is decomposed, salt water passes more easily through the wood. As the water evaporates, it leaves behind salt. The salt expands and tears apart the wood fibers. It also increases conductivity through the wood and speeds up the electrolysis process. After 67 years, the wood is mush and the fasteners are toast. It's time to rebuild her. Of course, the first step in this process is to wood the bottom and remove all the coats of epoxy that we had put on. This is a brutal task. Now that the coatings are removed, we can see where the fasteners are and the frame stations. With Chabasco, the planking is compromised and the frames are deteriorated. If we remove all the planking, there won't be enough strength left in the deteriorated frames to support the boat. So we need to do this systematically, one frame station at a time. Before we can remove the frame, we need to make an exact pattern of that frame. As is common with boats built with steam bent frames, the port and starboard sides are not exactly the same. A separate pattern has to be made for every frame. It was very easy to see by the condition of the frames why Chabasco was leaking. After the patterns are made, the frame and the floor and floor fasteners can be removed. We have found that heat works very well to free up the metal parts. While we have good access, it's a good idea to pull and check the keel bolts. laminate the new frames using these adjustable laminating clamps. I invented these clamps over 30 years ago and they have laminated literally thousands of frames. We make our frame laminates out of a wood called Kapur. Kapur is a tropical hardwood with a high resin content. It takes glue well, and it's almost impervious to rot. For laminating the frames, we use a two-part pre-thickened structural epoxy. 
This epoxy is put out by BJB Enterprises. This is a friendly epoxy with a 1 to 1 mixing ratio. At 70 degrees, it has about a 1 hour working time with a 6 hour cure time. There are 12 laminates per frame. Once the epoxy goes off, they are absolutely stable in that shape. They are also much, much stronger than the original frames. We remove the excess glue and flatten the frame with a power plane. You will notice here that we curve the feather scarf. If you try and make a straight scarf on a curved surface, it will be too short. We like the scarf to be about 10 to 1. On Chabasco, she has 3 inch thick frames. That means the scarf needs to be 30 inches long. Once the frame is fit in, we can put it in place and lay out the bevels. You can see that we use our pattern every step of the way. It is very important to keep everything accurate so that we do not lose fairness. You can see here that we have laminated on the inside of the frame a fiberglass reinforcement. This replaces the inside bronze strap in the way of the outside keel strapping. Once the frame is glued and secured into place, we can go on to the next frame station and the process starts all over again. This video was brought to you by efforts through the Maritime Preservation Trust. Don't forget to subscribe and please visit our website.